Yo my bitches. Yeah that that really isn't me. Hello, long time no see. Well, I I can't technically see you but you, you can see me. But you might have only watched my video like five minutes ago, so that's really not that long. This is confusing this year. Right, anyway. So yeah, this weekend I was away at a wedding. That's what the last video was. If you don't like weddings, don't watch it. I'm, I'm not expecting you to. It's a video for the lovely couple that got married. It was fun. It was nice weather, which was a bonus. And any excuse to dress up is good by my books. And this is what I wore. You like? Anyway, part of the outfit was these. I was like, I want some sandaly type shoes, but I need a heel because I'm a short ass. So I saw these and I was like, I don't usually go for wedges, but they're quite nice. Um, only thing was, they're Playboy ones. They had like a stud there with a Playboy bunny on it and a Playboy bunny hanging from there, which made them look really tacky. I don't understand what it is, why people want to wear stuff with the Playboy bunny on it. I don't really kind of want to associate myself with Playboy stuff because in the UK, if you associate yourself with Playboy and stuff, instead of being like some sexy little minx, you actually look a bit like a chav. The whole Playboy thing, Playboy Mansion, is weird to me. Magazines, yes, I understand why they sell well. Yes, yes, I understand why men buy them. But the whole old man living in a big mansion with lots of young women, if that was in the UK, he'd be on Crime Watch. So, yeah, don't really get the whole Playboy Mansion thing. I personally don't want to live in a house with lots of young women and one really old guy. Like, just a bit creepy, to be honest. Since the wedding, um, I've been home and I went last night to a recording of the National Theatre of Brent. Now, if you don't know it, um, Radio 4 programme, very funny, and they do kind of history lessons and it's very silly. Um, I recommend you find it somewhere. There's this, this was a recording for the new series which is gonna be broadcast in August sometime. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really funny. Haven't laughed so much in ages. Although, anyone who follows me on Twitter might know why I was like extra enjoying myself and getting all excited and stuff. While in the queue, two people went in that I was just like, <coughs> first one was Andy Hamilton. Uh, who wrote uh, such amazing things such as Outnumbered and Old Harry's Game. Seriously, look them up if you can. When the woman on the door asked him his name, I was like, you don't know Andy Hamilton? Um, but yeah. Next exciting thing, was it was like the whole family with her as well. Emma Thompson. I was like, oh, Emma Thompson. Anyway, we'd all got in and run like them again. Emma Thompson sitting two seats in front of me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. As we were sitting there, someone walked past me and I was just like... Dull French? <laughs> so yeah, that was exciting for me because not only did I get to see like an amazing comedy show but like some really famous people as well like just sitting around. That was fun. That was really fun. But anyway, I have run out of things to talk about but what I will tell you is on my personal channel I'm going to be uploading two videos and then I will put the links to them down here and I might put cool links around here and here. Uh, um, that's going to look really weird if it doesn't work. <laughs> Just because. Uh, um, but yeah, I teach street dance at my university and we do a dance show at the end of every year. It'd be really cool if you just went and watched them. My classes worked so hard and like we're not professionals. We only had like one rehearsal a week and they managed to look amazing. I put them on here but because they've got music in them I don't want to be hauled up for copyright on this channel because I like you guys and I don't want to lose you. I'm gonna go off now and play some more Xbox I think. Bye guys!